The best way to explore a city is by connecting with the people that live in it. And if there really are only six degrees of separation between any of us, then all you need to start your journey is a single point of contact. As pace set to the world's most rapidly evolving country, Shanghai doesn't look to the future, it creates it. Once one of the world's most flamboyant cities, Shanghai is back with a vengeance. Except this time, its energy has been channeled into a boom of rapid development and stunning new wealth. So, I'm here to hitch a ride with some new friends around this full throttle city that's got its pedal to the metal. How are you doing? Great, how are you doing? My first point of contact in Shanghai is Simon Ma, one of China's most prolific designers. He's worked on everything from Ferraris to skyscrapers, and like Shanghai, he's hit the boom time. I don't know, I like the city, the original culture is very cosmopolitan. I can feel the potential, like China was a sleeping dragon. Shanghai itself has really got the touch between Western and Chinese, allowing different cultures to come in. So as a designer and an artist, I think that's a place I should be. In the early 20th century, Shanghai's reputation as China's gateway to the world earned it the nickname, the Paris of the East. Foreign money flooded in and built the city its own version of Wall Street called the Bun. Look at this, it's what, not what I expected from Shanghai. It's like Chicago back yes. in the 20s or something like that. Yes, but you know, um, the old Shanghai was basically the Art Deco style. But it's mixing of different sort of Art Deco, like Russian, British, you know. If you really look at it, every building has different history. The other side is very modern. It's very avant-garde style. 12 years ago, it was, it was nothing here. There's no buildings there, it's only the Pearl Towers there. But now it's all building, all high-rise, all the great hotels are there. <laughs> Simon's brought me to his gallery. It's stacked on three floors with dozens of paintings, every kind of furniture and interior design accessory you can think of, and just for good measure, a few skyscrapers. What I do is MAD, Music, Art and Design. This is the burn chair. I burn this chair to become another chair. I burn it. You burn it? I design this chair and I burn it. I'm just being avant-garde, Oli. I'm just being avant-garde. I'm setting fire to my things and changing them. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Simon's making a decent living from design and his wristwatch probably costs more than my apartment. But it wasn't always this way. He moved from Hong Kong to Shanghai to help his family escape from bankruptcy and he pretty much started his design career with nothing in his pockets. It's, it's actually giving me the momentum and the dynamics of, of improving, of learning and upgrading myself. The amount of change in Shanghai has been immense and you've kind of gone along with it. You're almost a reflection of what the city's been through. That's why, that's why I got to thank Shanghai as well. It's given me a very different feel because I have to blend in with the Shanghai cultures and I have to um, work with the growth of Shanghai, which is very high speed. I've obviously landed on my feet with Simon. First, a personal Ferrari-driven tour of the city, and now an invite to a high society shindig at one of Shanghai's glitziest hotels. A lot of attention here just for a party. I think they're uh, giving me a uh, sort of a what today. Yeah, sorry, we're just here to get an award as well. It's, I mean, it slipped my mind, Dolly. It's, <laughs> it's a Thursday, you know, so many awards. We've been at 10 seconds, business cards were out like confetti. We might be at a party, but driving Shanghai's business is going on right here. You know, almost every other person we're meeting puts buildings up, puts housing estates up. It's just expansion, 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 expansion. Money, 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 money. We're in Shanghai. 
I was kind of hanging behind Simon, but he knows absolutely everyone that's walking through the door. You can tell why he's successful. Because he knows everybody's name, he knows exactly who they are, what they're doing, and, well, how they can help him. Look. Bye, Ollie. I'm off. Gonna make money. Ladies and gentlemen, most popular designer of the year, Mr. Simon Ma. Uh, always about Chinese designer. Hopefully we can walk to the world. Simon can join the spotlight for his design career, but tonight is also about showing off his latest architectural creation. An upmarket housing estate for punters with a few extra dollars in their back pocket. Everyone come here to buy houses, but live here, like you're here. It's not just China for China, no, it's China for the world. Well, it looks lovely. Maybe one day I can see it from the air as I fly over it in my budget airline. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine! Holly! Nice to meet you. Simon's introducing me to Elaine Chow, an internet blogger who runs a local website called The Shanghaiist. Such a cool city. I mean, yeah. how would you describe Shanghai? If anything represents China's mood, it's the city. It's like watching your kid grow up. It's watching someone you know like blossom from like adolescence into adult. And some parts you're like, oh gosh, I wish you didn't get into that. And some parts you're like, well, that's you know, and I'm amazed that you managed to do all of this. And that's that's what Shanghai is for me, I guess. Well, cheers. Cheers.